Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a truth table. As I mentioned to you in the previous video, it is important to have these tables at hand. Unless you already know them, you need to have it close to you because we are going to use them. So let's start. This is the example that we are going to solve today. P or no Q implies P and Q. So the first thing we need to do to solve this type of exercise is identify all the variables that are involved in the compound proposition. So our propositional variables are here, as you can see P, Q, and then P and Q are repeated again. So we have only two propositional variables and we are going to write them in two columns. Just like this. So the next step is to find out if we have any negation. So as you see, we have a negation here. So that will be our next column. No Q. Then, because there is no any other negation, we are going to start writing as new columns of the table, new compound propositions, until the only one left is the whole compound propositions that we need to create the, table, the truth table. So then the next one will be P or no Q. Next one P and Q. And because we already have all of them, we only have left the full compound proposition that we need to create a, ta a truth table for. So we will write that proposition here. P or no Q implies P and Q. Okay? So the next step is to assign the truth values to P and Q. We start only with the propositional variables. So for that, we need to write all the possible combinations of these two variables. So first, we can have the case that both variables are true. Then we can say P can be true and Q can be false then p can be false and q can be true and finally both can be false so that's all those are all the combinations in this case we only have two variables so the amount of combination that we can create for those two variables with two values because it's true or false are four so next we have to calculate column by column so we start with no Q, then we move to the other column, we move to the other column, and so on. So when we arrive to the last one, we already will know all the truth value for the compound proposition. So as you must know by now, the negation, you just have to write the opposite value. So no Q if Q is true, is false. If Q is false, it's true. If it's true, we write false, if it's false, we write true. We just have to write the opposite value. This is quite straightforward. So now we have to find out the value of P or no Q. As you can see, we have the compound proposition using a disjunction. And for that, we have this table here, okay? As you see here, if both are true, then the conjunction is true and so on. So what we can learn from this table is that the, the conjunction is only false when both propositional variables are false. So we can check in our rows which row have the two propositional variables false, which is this one, P and no Q. In this case, the two are false. So now we know that the conjunction in this case is false. And as we can see from this table, it will be true in any other case. So here is true, false, true, true, 
false, 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 true. So we have only one row that the two propositional variables are false. So then the rest, it will be true. Okay, so we finish our first column. Let's move to the second one. The second one is P and Q. So here we have the truth values for the conjunction. So the truth value for the conjunction tells us that the conjunction is only true if both propositional variables are true. So we check from the table, this is the only row in which P and Q are true. As you see, here is true, false, false, true, false, false. What this tells us is that only on this first row, the conjunction will be true, and in the rest, it will be false. As you can see, pretty straightforward. So now, we have our last step. In this case, is the conditional between these two compound propositions. Now we have the value of the first compound proposition here in this column, the value of the second compound proposition in this column. So we are going to be using these values to determine what is the truth value in this column. Okay, that's why we have this table here to help us. So as you can see, the conditional is only false if the left side, in this case P, is true and the right side, in this case, in this case Q, is false. The reason for this is that true cannot imply false. Okay, so we can look on our two columns where we have true implies false. Is this one. Second row, true implies false and the last row, true implies false. So in these two cases, the conditional will be false, okay? And, as it's shown on the table, in all the other cases, the conditional will be true. And that's how we create a truth table for any compound proposition. I just want to leave the link below, so in case, apart from the video you want just to see the whole solution in the Jamboard, you can also have access to it. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.